So the favourites in the centre lanes there, United States led off by Phyllis Francis, with AD Child for Great Britain outside her. Good start by Patak of Poland, further out with Guyan, Formant of France. But the interest particularly on these inside lanes, Ruby of Australia also off well in lane three, but now Phyllis Francis beginning to eat down that stagger on AD Child of Great Britain with the uh, attack of Poland still going well. It's up on uh, Guillaume Fermat and France, who have a, uh, uh, has a good finish. So in the centre lane, Sadie Child of Great Britain. Further out, Leroy of Jamaica has had an excellent run there, supported by many in this crowd here. But the American France is gaining on her. It'll be Jamaica, USA, it looks like, coming into this first leg. As they come into the handovers now, it's the US just ahead of Jamaica. And they go now on the second of the laps of the United States with a slight advantage. And it's the United States. This is Natasha Hastings being pursued by the great Novelin Williams Mills. Eight times the Jamaican champion and the diamond race winner from last year. Already selected for the World Championships in Great Britain with Anika Anora. They're in third place at this stage. As they come to the halfway stage of this second lap, United States lead from Jamaica. And then it's Great Britain. And then a gap behind them to Canada with Wendy Vaughan Dorr, former United States athlete, in fourth place. But it's United States from Jamaica. This is Natasha Hastings from Novelin Williams Mills. And the United States are going to hand over in front. Maybe three metres the gap. Jamaica second, Great Britain third, Canada fourth. Christine Day has the baton for Jamaica, but out in front of her, she is in hot pursuit of Sanya Richards-Ross. The Olympic champion away and clear and hurtling around that first bend, but holding her form well is day. Sanya Richard Ross had that terrific leg in the in, in the 10 lap event yesterday in the relay, the distance medley relay, and she is looking comfortable as she approaches the crown of the bend. Massey currently occupying the bronze medal position for Great Britain. Muir running hard, the Canadian champion, three-time Canadian champion for Canada, trying to keep them in medal contention. But it's all about Sanya Richards-Ross at the front of the pack, and she's putting the hammer down and pulling away from Christine Day and the rest of the field. The most prolific sub-50 second runner there has ever been. Hands over with the USA in prime position. Another great run from Sanya Richards-Ross. Well, it looks as if the United States are going to do it again. But the Corey has only just got to go ahead and keep the rhythm going now. A great run indeed, 48-79, Richard wow, Ross. Wow, what a run from Richard Ross. But Corey now with that 20-metre gap really on Bundy, uh, just behind her, as you say, McPherson of Jamaica. I don't think they're going to catch that sort of gap with the quality of the Corey out in front. Just behind, though, the big race is on between uh, the United, uh, sorry, with uh, Great Britain and Poland. It looks as if the Polish athlete here, Suetti, is just maybe going to take Bundy Davis. No, I'll tell you, it's the Italians coming through there. No, it's not. Well, through the line, the American team, just behind them, Jamaica, coming through on the inside there. It is Great Britain, in the end, to take the third place. 